Hi there. Happy almost spring. Uh, I am here in the late day sun beside a stinging nettle plant in its winter state and that's what I want to talk about today. I wanted to help you to identify stinging nettle um, the stalks from the previous year because often they're still standing up through the snow um, in the throughout the winter and then in the early spring like really early earlier than you might think um, little tiny shoots start coming up from the ground like uh, I'm, I'm going down to the ground as if to show you um, but actually where I am we don't have them here yet, <laughs> but they, they come up like right from the ground. So that's where you're going to have to be looking um, to find the very young shoots that you can harvest fresh and they're delicious um, and nutritious. And um, stinging nettle, of course, is uh, it's a very prized herb, often a favorite herb among herbalists. And it's very abundant and it grows in many different parts of the world. So I thought, OK, um, Maybe some of you want to know how to find it when it's coming up real young and um, a good way to be able to do that is to identify last year's stalks. So that's what I'm showing you here. So here is a nettle stalk and you'll notice at the top this one has some of its, um, its little seeds still. Um, the, the, this particular variety of nettle which I believe is Urtica urens, has really tiny seeds. And so they're kind of brown and they just look like little leaves right up along the top of the stalk. And further down, you'll find them coming out of the ends of some of the branches. Um, but then other than that, um, <clears throat> the other variety of nettle that we have around here is Urtica dioica and um, they're both similar. Urtica is the genus and so then we have the dioica or the urens, the different species um, and uh, we use them interchangeably but the Urtica urens tends to have the smaller seeds. The Urtica dioica will have larger seeds. You might find uh, seeds that look a little little bit larger than these ones remaining on the plant. You might find that the seeds have fallen off and there are just these little twigs. But I will show you one more time. This is how it's looking sort of around the top of the plant or around the top of some of the branches. Okay, and then looking at the stalk. So the stalk of nettle I'm just trying to hold it still here. The stalk of nettle, you can see that it's got these grooves. Okay, so up close, you can see that it's got these vertical grooves that go along um, the whole length of the stalk. And the stalk is a square shape. It's got four edges. So on each of the edges, you will find one of these vertical grooves making its way down. And then you might have noticed already that it's divided into these sections. So you've got like some stock coming down to, here's my cat at my feet if you can hear her, um, coming down to, let's find a good junction here. Okay, lower down, you can see it better. Um, you see, here's a, here's a junction, here's a junction, here's a junction. It keeps making, his, it's got these little circles, right? These little junctions that create these sections along the stalk. And so that is another characteristic of it. Okay, there's Pixie, hello. So, um, uh, and then the final thing I would mention is that uh, because stinging nettle is stingy, it's not stingy to touch right now, but you will get a bit of a roughness, a rough kind of sense on the stalk, like uh, with these little kind of just little, so it's stubbly. And so that, <laughs> that's another characteristic of it. So, um, uh, you will find that stinging nettle often grows in clusters. So here's one, and then over here I have another one, and then, you know, over here I have another one. And um, 
this one doesn't have too much left at the top of the stalk, but you can see that it's got these sections as well. Um, so it's growing in these clusters and that's because the roots are adventitious. They are all connected underground and they'll, they'll creep along the ground and then start up new um, plants where, uh, wherever they, they find appropriate um, so that you get these patches of nettles. So that's another thing that you can look for where you're, um, where you're looking for nettles. Generally, nettles um, likes shade or part shade and it likes moist soil and it loves rich soil. So if you're in um, near like a cow field or anywhere where there's lots of nitrogen in the soil, the edges of forests, um, alongside creeks or ponds or rivers or whatever, you might find it. These are good places to look. Um, actually, where we're standing here is in the middle of a pretty sunny field, and I have nettle growing here too. So, you know, it's not picky, it's quite abundant, but um, if this was shadier, richer soil, it would be a bigger patch. Um, so, that's what I have to share with you today. Uh, I hope that that is helpful for you, and um, I hope that you get to find some nettle in the early spring to harvest and prepare, and I will um, probably be sharing some more info about nettle when the young shoots start to come up here in a few weeks. Um, some of you south of me I know are probably already harvesting them. So, blessings to all in this final week or a couple weeks of winter uh, here in the Northern Hemisphere and um, blessings to the nettle.